Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, we're going to be going over the dawning. I want to give you a very quick run through of the event, what's important, how you get loot, and that sort of thing. So you start off the dawning by going and visiting Eva Levante. She is above the Eververse store this time around. Very easy to spot. She will have an introductory quest for you to make cookies for Zavala. And that's really what this entire event revolves around gathering materials around the solar system, using them to create different types of crackers and cookies and desserts to deliver to different NPCs around the galaxy. It's pretty simple, but there are some confusing nuances. Specifically, there are going to be different combinations of materials you can use to craft 22 different cookies to deliver to 22 different NPCs. And this is going to be important because each one has an associated triumph and some of them are actually connected to quest lines as well. So it's pretty important that you create each of these cookies at least once and there's other things as well that we will go over. So how does this work? Generally crafting cookies requires three things, uncommon ingredients, rare ingredients, and then dawning essence. The first thing, the uncommon ingredients, these are going to be the green ingredients that go in the first slot. These are tied to a specific race. So every time you kill enemies of a specific race, you have a chance to get an ingredient tied to them. So for instance, when you kill Cabal, you have a chance to get Cabal oil. When you kill the Scorn, you get a chance to get Dark Ether Canes, so forth and so on. They're all pretty self-explanatory, and each of these will be able to be combined with the different rare ingredients in the second slot to give you different cookies. In the second slot, we do have these rare ingredients, like I said. These pertain to how you kill an enemy. So every Every time you kill one of these enemies that we talked about, if you do it in a specific fashion, you have a chance to get a rare ingredient. So each of these are tied to unique ways of killing things. So for instance, sharp flavor or sharp taste, whatever it's called, is tied to you getting kills with swords. Then there's also stuff that revolve around the three elements. There's some revolving around using your super and grenades and all sorts of things. So when you combine an uncommon and a rare ingredient, you were able to then spend something called Dawning Essence to create this suite to give to an NPC. Now, originally, it is going to cost you 15 Dawning Essences per cookie. However, once you complete all 22 cookies, you are able to masterwork your oven, and thus each recipe will only cost 10 Dawning Essences. So it's pretty important that you do this as soon as possible just to help you because a lot of these triumphs require you to do things like deliver 100 cookies. That is obviously going to take a hell ton of Dawning Essence, especially if you do not masterwork your oven. So make sure you are doing that. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, what is the best way to get Dawning Essence? In my opinion, it's going to be to do the Scorched game mode. I think Crucible overall is probably the fastest way. These games last around seven to nine minutes. The Scorched game mode lasts around four minutes. And every time you complete a Crucible match, you get 12 of these Essences. However, all other activities around the solar system will give you Dawning Essence as well. You can do the sundial, you can do public events, you can do patrols, these sorts of things. They will all give you different stuff. I believe Nightfalls will give you like 20 of them. They're all pretty good farms, but I definitely think the fastest is going to be short crucible game modes like Scorched, because like I said, each of these games lasts like three to four minutes. They're super short and they give you a ton of dawning essence. So whenever you have all of these ingredients, you are able to combine them for all the different cookies. And so I just want to very quickly go over all 22 recipes, starting with the seven new ones for this year. Once again, the link down in the description will have guides to all of these, but I do want to specifically go over the seven brand new ones and then just wrap up with the 15 old ones as well. So the first new one is called Fractal Rolls. You deliver these to Brother Vance. You make these by combining Vex Milk and a Pinch of Light. The next one you actually deliver to Riven herself, which we'll go over in a second. This is called the Thousand Layer Cookie. You make this by combining Taken Butter and Delicious Explosion, and you are actually able to teleport right to Riven using this wish that I insert on the wish wall right here. So, you know, go into the last wish raid, enter this, and you will teleport straight to Riven. Then you drop down and there will be a snow globe on the kind of bottom ring arena thing. Just go over to that and you will be able to give Riven her cookie. The third one is for Saint 14. It is called Lavender Ribbon Cookies. This is made by combining Vex Milk and Personal Touch. It is important to note that Saint 14 is not in the tower just yet. I think he will be added later. It might be a bug, I'm not really sure, but make this cookie, hold on to it for when he finally appears. The next one is going to be delivered to the Visage of Callus. This is called the Fried Shadow. You make this by combining Dark Ether Cane and Superb Tech. Texture. The next one is for 801 called the Hot Crossfire Buns. You make this by combining Ether Cane and Balanced Flavors. 
Then you have a Senate Oatmeal Raisin Cookies for Eris Morn. This is made by combining Chitin Powder and Finishing Touch. And then the final brand new flavor is going to be the one for Benedict 9940, the Hackberry Tart, which is made by combining Cabal Oil and multifaceted flavors. Now you do have the 15 old ones real quickly. You have the Galler Doodles for Zavala, which you make by combining Ether Cane and Delicious Explosion, Traveler Donut Holes for Icor Ray by combining Cabal Oil and Flash of Inspiration, Chocolate Ship Cookies for Amanda Holiday by combining Cabal Oil and Null Taste, Telemetry Tapioca for Banshee 44 by combining Vex Milk and Bullet Spray, Elixni Birdseed for Lewis by combining Ether Cane and Personal Touch, Gentleman's Shortbread for Devrim K by combining Ether Cane and Perfect Taste, Alkane Drage Cookies for Sloan by combining Chitin Powder and Bullet Spray, Infinite Force Cake for Failsafe by combining Vex Milk and Impossible Heat, Radio Warrior Pudding for Asher Mirk by combining Vex Milk and Electric Flavor, Vanilla Blades for Shax by combining Cabal Oil and Sharp Flavor, Javelin Mooncake for Anna Bray by combining Chitin Powder and Sharp Flavor, Dark Chocolate Modes for the Drifter by combining Taken Butter and Null Taste, Candy Dead Ghost for the Spider by combining Dark Ether Cane and Flash of Inspiration, Ill Fortune Cookies for Pet Revenge by combining Dark Ether Cane and Impossible Heat, and finally, the very last cookie, the 22nd one, is going to be for Zur. This is the Strange Cookie, which is made by combining Taken Butter and Electric Flavor. Once again, you will be able to deliver this to Zur when he appears on Friday at reset. So you won't be able to deliver this right now, but once he shows up, you will be able to. So those are all 22 cookies. Once again, the link down below explains absolutely everything if you have to reference anything. It's pretty straightforward, though. Make sure you are farming Scorched while it's here. I'm not sure if it's going to be here during the entire dawning but while it is here make sure you are taking full advantage of it it's definitely worth it also make sure that you are making as many cookies as possible to keep these triumphs going you are cooking at least one of each to make it require less dawning essence whenever you completely master work your oven and that sort of thing so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends if you're interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed to my awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I'll see you in my next video.